Hey everybody, Jake here, and today I am ready to unbox some movie mail that I got. We got a big beefy package. If I pick this sucker up, oh my god. Top package almost fell. This is probably five pounds worth of movies, 10 pounds worth of movies. I don't know, I've got big muscles. I don't know how much it weighs, but it's a lot. So let's get waste no more time and start opening up this big sucker. If you're not following me, give me a like, follow, subscribe. My hair's doing a whole bunch of fun wavy things. Let's not look at that anymore. Let's look at the package, shall we? This big sucker is from Umbrella Entertainment. So let's give it a nice little cut. Let's pop her open. See what's inside. Come on. Yes. Yeah. And now I realize why this package weighed so much. Look at the beefy box sets that are coming out this month from Umbrella Entertainment. There are some awesome titles to choose from, or even some collectibles with one of them. Let's waste no more time and start with Bully. From what I've heard, Bully is a spiritual successor to Kids, directed by Larry Clark, the director of Kids. This box set from Umbrella Entertainment looks very similar to the one they put out for Kids, which I absolutely love. Watched that movie for the first time last year. Wow, is that a rough film, but one that's worth watching. I'm hoping Bully has the exact same vibes, even though, uh, yeah, those vibes can be a little sketch sometimes. Just in case you weren't aware of what the kids box set looked like from Umbrella, here that is in all of its glory. But as you can see, Bully is double the size. And it is double the size because it has a book housed inside of it. Let me show you that now. This hardcover book that's included with the movie Bully is the book that the movie is based off of, Bully, A True Story of High School Revenge. It also has some behind the scenes clips, but I love how they include hard cover bound books. Let's see here. There's that knock. It's very, very satisfying, very high quality as well. All the pictures are in the back here. Very, very cool to see added into this collection. And we also have eight photos, one of which I can't show you here, but these are very nice and very big pics. And we also have the movie itself. Here's Bully with the slip cover and the case. Here's the front, the side. Let's see here, let's get a better shot of the back right here. Zoom in on the nice looking slip cover and all the special features that are included in this sucker, including a full length behind the scenes documentary. Awesome, cannot wait to check that out. And we also get a double-sided poster included in this release. One thing that I really like about Umbrella's double-sided posters is that they normally include a side of the poster that artwork is not included in the rest of the set. I love to see at least some sort of difference in my posters just to give me a reason to hang it up. Also, every single one of their collector's editions comes with a J card that lets you know what number you got in the set. I got number 539 out of 750. I normally just put these cards right in the middle of where the other cards are, slide it in, snug as a bug in a rug, and yeah, we're good to go. Next up, we have The Chaser, a movie I honestly had never heard of before, but after watching the trailer and looking up some of the reviews on Letterboxd, I am so, so excited to finally check this sucker out. I love the nice spots of gloss that they have on their releases. There we go. There it is shooting on the text right there. I think, God, this sucker looks so, so gorgeous. Now here is a shot of the slip cover and case itself. This movie is about a detective who catches the killer, but has 12 hours to find the victim that the killer has already kind of set up before that person dies. Man, that sounds so intriguing. Here's the poster artwork that we get from the chaser. Here's the original poster artwork. And then on the flip side, we have, again, more imagery that is not anywhere else on this release. Love to see it. It comes with an 88 page bound book that has an essay about the movie in South Korea, serial killer, some artwork, an interview with the director. Very cool stuff. And we have eight more lobby cards to show off. All these collector's editions have some very cool cards. And like I said before, they are oversized. Fit really good in my meaty mitts, if you know what I am saying. Man, these are good looking cards. And here is the J card just to show you how many pieces are in the collection. Out of 500 pieces, I got number 165. And you can also see that this is region B. I have played multiple films from Umbrella on my region A player, have not had an issue yet having one not play. Next up, we have the movie Them. I have not heard of this movie before, if I'm being honest. Came out in 2005. I just got done watching the trailer on this thing. And boy, howdy, I am very excited to give it a watch. This looks like it's from the 1970s from this cover, but it's lean, mean, and will leave your underpants anything but clean. I love how they put that on the box here. Here's what the box looks like with all of its innards showing. 
Here is the gorgeous looking slip cover and the very simplistic looking poster artwork they put on the case itself. One thing I love about this movie, it's 74 minutes long. I love short, tight run times. You'll never feel safe at home again. This seems right up my alley. Cannot wait to finally check it out. I love how they decided to make the poster horizontal with this one to make it stand out a little bit. Here is one side, and of course I flipped it the other way. I caught it like a boss. Look at that. And here is the nice, simplistic, classic horror looking red poster on the flop side. This also comes with a 48 page booklet, including an essay on anatomy and hoodie horror. And they show a whole bunch of movies that I absolutely love. Let's see if I can thumb through a couple of them. We got Lord of the Flies, we got Attack the Block, we got Harry Brown. That's what I like about all of these umbrella books. They usually have an essay in here that I really want to read. The main thing that I like about this group of lobby cards is that they're all black and white. The movie is not black and white, but they decided to kind of shoot this and portray this like an old school horror movie. And that makes me even more excited to finally go and check this out. Have you seen this movie? Let me know what you think if you have. And it looks like on the J card this time, there are 400 of these collector's editions made and I got number 31. So all the movies that I've shown off are absolutely gorgeous, but I think I might have saved the best for last with Dead End Drive-In. Imagine Mad Max taking place within a drive-in theater, and that is kind of what you have in store for this movie. Getting in was easy. Getting out is hell on wheels. We got some goodies in here, both in the digital form on disc, but we also have a nice packet of physical goodies as well. This is what Umbrella does better than any other boutique label right now. It also comes with a t-shirt. Let's waste no more time. Oh, uh, let's show you the physical goodies first. First, this release comes with a soundtrack, music composed by Frank Strangio, Dead End Drive-In. Love to see extra goodies within my physical media releases. They've done this with a couple other releases as well. It actually comes with an air freshener you can put, make your movie collection smell good, make your car smell good, whatever. I don't know what a dead end drive is gonna smell like, but I can't wait to find out. In fact, let's rip it open now. All right, here it is out of its packaging. Time to give it a little whiff. Okay, this is like a fruit punch flavor smell scent. Fruit punch scent, there we go. Uh, yeah, I like I like the smell of that a lot, but I think I'm going to hang it up right next to all of my other umbrella entertainment movies. Look at that, that looks gorgeous. We also have a very, very nice looking keychain of the Star Drive-In on the backside. It says Dead End Drive-In, very, very cool piece. We also have a couple of bumper stickers to put on your car to have fun at the drive-in with. If the van is rocking, don't bother knocking, and I lost it at the Star Drive-In. And last but certainly not least, it comes with a t-shirt. Here's what the front looks like. And on the back at the very top, it says dead and drive in. But now let's finally get into the movie itself. And yes, I don't think I've mentioned that this is a 4K release as well. Here's what dead end drive in looks like on the front cover and the slip cover, slide it over. And we got a nice back shot of the back slip cover here. The price of admission could be the rest of your life. There are so many extras hidden on this sucker as well. Cannot wait to dig into some of these goodies. If we get a closer look at the special features here down at the bottom, it shows that there's two different versions of the film, a 93 minute Australian cut and an 87 minute international cut. There are a couple of short films on here as well. Love to see it. And an Easter egg, what's the Easter egg? Of course, we have another double-sided poster here. Here is side one, flip it over. And then we have the theatrical release poster here on the back side as well. It also comes with an 120 page hardbound book that includes the shooting script on here and a couple of other essays from the directors on here. Very, very cool looking stuff. And this image looks amazing. We have eight more cards to show off here. I've seen snippets of this movie from the documentary, Not Quite Hollywood, which goes over a lot of Ozploitation films. It really got me excited to watch this movie. Can't wait to finally dig in. I love going to the drive-in movies as well. So I'm hoping that kind of fun atmosphere is included. And of course we get another J card, including showing off all of the goodies that are inside. And it looks like we got number 155 out of 500 this go around. Looks like the next package we have in store is this bubble mailer from MVD, baby. So let's give it a little rip and see what goodies are inside, shall we? Looks like we have two new titles to add to the Radiance collection. Both are Blu-ray premieres. Let's start with 
The Shape of Night. Let me tell you the synopsis of this movie. A young woman falls in love with a handsome hoodlum who pushes her into a life of prostitution. When his sleazy superiors catch sight of her, she finds herself trapped inside a gaudy maze of city nightlife. And this was made in 1964. Dear Lord, that sounds intense. Riddle me intrigued with this one. So I have a question for all of you Radiance Films collectors out there. Do you leave this little middle tag inside like where it should be or do you take it out? Because me personally, I like to take them out and just showcase all of the artwork that's included in here. And if you don't like that original artwork, you can always go with the alternative artwork they have on the inside. This release also comes with a 28 page booklet kind of going over an essay over the film, a making of the film, just a whole bunch of good stuff. And if you were wondering what I do with the middle slip that I take out, I just put it on the inside. It fits snug as a bug in a rug in here. And that's the way that I kind of prefer to uh, showcase these titles. And finally, we have the film Misunderstood. John Tacombe returns home from his wife's funeral, his two children unaware of their mother's passing. He makes the decision to tell his eldest son, but hides the truth from his sickly younger son, Milo. Oh my God. Family drama. Am I right? I am always in for one of those flicks. Here's what the front and back cover look like on the front side of the art. And here is the alternate side. I think I'm going to switch back to the first side, but man, a kid and his tear, you kind of know what movie you're going to jump into at this point. We have a 32 page booklet to go with this movie. And I'm very happy to add Misunderstood to my Radiance collection. And last but not least, we have this package right here. I want to say this is from a whatnot that I won. I am not quite sure though. So let's give it a little rip and see what's in here. Gah! First title I picked up was Halloween 3 Season of the Witch on 4K. I want to get all of these Halloween films that came with the nice hard cases here, the slipcover cases and or the side loader cases, I should say. They are selling out like crazy. I was able to pick this up for like 10 bucks, 11 bucks. It was somewhere around there. Um, and I'm very happy to add this to collection. So now I have the hard box titles for three, five, six, seven, and eight. I think I'm missing a few and a few good ones. I gotta change that shortly. And last, but uh, yeah, definitely least, I have the Purge Anarchy. I don't own this Purge. I wanna say I own three of them. Now I own four of them. Um, I can't remember which one I'm missing. I want to say it's not the first purge, the one that came before that. Is this the one that came before that? What's the, I think I need the second one. Is this the second one? I lose track of which one is which. This is the second one, I'm pretty sure. I have the first, second election year and the first purge. Whatever one I'm missing, I can't even remember the title of it, but that's the only one I need. Well, thank you everybody for watching until the very end. If you like me showing off my new additions this way, let me know in the comments because I don't know if I'm gonna stick with this long form or if I should just go back to the way that I've done it, tried and true, that fun jazz. I just, I just thought, especially with the umbrella ones, umbrella radiance, I like to break down all the goodies that are inside because sometimes I go over those pretty fast and I don't know if everybody catches them. So if you like this format, let me know. If you don't, let me know. I'm always trying to grow and evolve the channel the way that you guys like. And on that point, if you want to give me a like, a subscribe, all that fun YouTube stuff, I'd really much appreciate it. And until next time, uh, I got a stack of movies so I can't use my hands, but I'll see you.